What it do, y'all? This your boy King here at the Great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button for me. So I was scrolling on the infamous Mob Deep page that I'm a part of, actually, and there was an interesting question that was proposed by this guy, and he wanted to know what when did Prodigy start becoming lazy with his rhyme scheme? Basically, what a lot of people were saying is when did Prodigy quote unquote fall off? Because, and I'm going to give you the reasons, the true reason why he changed up his flow. See, you listen to albums, his albums from 1995 up until the H&IC album. P was an incredible MC. Especially on Hell on Earth, he just went on levels with that. Now, I'm going to tell you when I started really seeing the change. Believe it or not, it started around 2000 with H and I C. You listen to his flow on Still Shining, Apostles Warning, Hell on Earth, Shook Ones. He slowly started to slow his his flow structure up on on, on um, H and I C. Even with Keep It Thorough, he was rapping totally different than how he ever was. It was just he had such an ill beat, and he was just talking his ish. His flow started to really become more slower because he started understanding more so the change of the landscape of hip hop. Because even, you could probably even say 1999, when he started, he started reaching out more so to the South. It probably started with the song with uh, 8 Ball MJG. And see, Later on, around the infamy, that's where he really made that full transition. I, and, I, and number one was because he was sick. And see, what people don't understand is when you get older, when you're sick, it's, it, it sometimes changes how you approach a song, how you flow in a strong, how you get your breath control going. It played a, a real key role. And plus, the industry was changing to where they had to be more diverse in terms of rapping over different beats and doing collabs with different artists. So Prodigy couldn't rap like the hell on of Prodigy on a lot of songs and going into the 2000s. It would sound weird. Because that's basically, that style was basically more so for a, that era, the New York era, the hardcore New York era. So we going to the 2000s to the 2010s, you notice he changed his whole flow pattern up, and he's more so has a more laid back, chill delivery. He focused more on his content more so than his flow. And people may say that it was lazy, but it I don't think it's lazy. Like, let me give y'all a good example. Listen to how Snoop Dogg was. Snoop Dogg from 1992 to 1996, I believe. He was just in beast mode when it comes to tracks. The Snoop Doggy Dog era when he was just in beast mode. Then came the Dog Father. He changed his whole strip up. Now, a lot of occasions happened during that period, and he went through a depression, and you could tell he sounded like a whimpering dog at times. But after that, he didn't really go in attack mode with a lot of those songs. He started adapting a more so laid back chill flow and just like the production value was changing in hip hop and he built a longevity career behind it because he was able to do more features on more different songs he couldn't go into Snoop Doggy Dog mode on a lot of them songs same way with Prodigy he couldn't go to HNI, not the HNIC but the Hell on Earth route on a lot of those songs like it wouldn't sound right on that um, the Alchemist album, the Albert Einstein project, or the Bumpy Johnson project, it was perfect. So, him being sick and that played a role in him pretty much transforming his flow. I started. I started also noticing the full transition on the Free Ages project, where he start where he tried to rap over the classics, and I'm like, it just didn't sound right. But later on, he started getting it. And, those, and he still made some listenable projects. So, that's 
what my opinion is about when Prodigy changed his why he changed his flow was because he was sick, the industry was changing, and he couldn't really rap like the, like the hell on earth P like on future prod like future pro production like that. It wouldn't sound right. So that's my opinion on that. So subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Peace.